Hello, and welcome to the lesson on subtracting two, three, and four digit numbers. During this lesson, please take some notes if you need to. Pay close attention to some of the tips and tricks and rewatch the video if you need to. The very first thing to know is how to subtract. When we subtract, we always start on the right side with the smallest place value. That would be our ones place value. What you need to do is take a look. If the top number is bigger or has more than the bottom number, you're good to go. Start subtracting. So in this case, we have more on top, no need to stop. 9 minus 4 gives us the 5. Now we move to the very next place value, which would be the tens place value. We take a look. It says 2 minus 3. Well, 2 is not bigger, so we need to go next door and get 10 more. Remember, each place value is 10 times bigger than the one behind it. So we're going to cross out the 6 and make it a 5. Only move over one next door. Sometimes people get a little tripped up and they want to go all the way to the front number. Remember, only go next door and get that 10 more. So we had a 2 in the 10's place value, but we got 10 more, so now it became 12. Now we may subtract. 12 minus 3 gives us 9. If we have the same number on the top and the bottom, zero's the game. If I had five apples and I give away five apples, I have zero apples left. I can still do it. I don't need to borrow. So five minus five is zero. And then one minus nothing, we have nothing in that space, gives us a one. It doesn't matter how many numbers we're subtracting, as long as we always start on the right side and move to the left. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's do the first one together. Three minus eight. If you have three of something, can you give away eight? No, so we need to go next door and borrow 10 more. So the two is gonna become one less, making it a one, and the three will become 10 more. So that will become 13. 13 minus eight is five. Now we move next door. One minus three. Can we have one of something and give away three? Nope, so we only borrow from next door. Notice we're only going one number at a time. That number will become one smaller, making the number next to it 10 bigger. So we have 11 minus 3 now, which, which gets us 8. Now we move to the hundreds digit. We have a 3 minus a 7. 3 smaller than 7, so we need to borrow from next door. And what we're borrowing is 10 more. 13 minus 7, we can do, we get 6. And 2 minus 1, we can do. Don't forget to add a comma into your answer. It's always 1s, 10s, 100s, comma for the thousands place value. Try the next one on your own. Pause the video. Resume to see if you are correct. Welcome back. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to try the next one here. 9 minus 5 we can do. We get 4. 9 minus 3 we can do. Whoop. We get 6. I got to get my pen back. Zero minus four. If I have zero of something, I can't take away four, so I got to borrow from next door. So that zero becomes 10 bigger. So it's just going to become 10. 10 minus four, I can do, and I get six. Because we borrowed from next door, 
we have zero minus nothing, we have nothing. So our answer is 664. If you need to, rewatch the video. Otherwise, good luck. This will go with a few lessons.